Hello and welcome to my channel solely dedicated for uh, my catharsis and working out my thoughts for my other channels and if you want to see my other channels there's a uh, Timothy Damas channel and there's also the fluffed up 75 channel which is a little puppet that tries to say little wisecracks and stuff like that but This, um, this week, I'm trying to sta start, I'm trying to start my autobiography, the autobiography. I know in my niece and I was talking about the whole autobiography thing, but, uh, I still want to do it. She says that no one cares about you and she's not trying to be harsh. I know that a stranger is not going to watch this channel or even uh, be randomly clicking. But I think everybody who wants to should make their autobiography. I was watching Doug Wilson. He has a blog and May blog and they were no actually it was on Canon Press. They were talking about autobiographies to read autobiographies. And there's a few types of autobiographies that maybe you should be aware of. There's the autobiography that is very self-promoting and is someone that's gonna write about all the fantastic, wonderful, good things that they do. But then for me, I want to get the other extreme and make an autobiography about how screwed up of a person that I am. So how do I find the middle ground to tell my story, which probably very few people are going to be attracted to. And I'm, I understand and I just have to probably re, 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 iterate, reiterate. I don't know. I try to use big words. I try, you know, uh, anyways, I've already discussed that my speaking is probably not very good. And that's probably one of the reasons why people get turned off by my content is because I, I don't use words properly and I do not pronunciate words. So yeah, that's important when you're speaking to be able to be articulate. I just saw two classic cars on that. Um, truck. So, with that said, I still think even if you're an interesting person or not, you should tell your story. Tell your story. Maybe it's freaking very dramatic. Maybe you've been hurt as a child. Maybe you've been hurt like an, as an adult like me. I've been hurt. And, and I want to express the story that may benefit some guys and girls watching this. Because, yeah, I'm not going to be like Andrew Tate and talk about how you could have all the women coming after you and how... Women should be used in abuse. No, that is not Christianity. Jesus Christ did not teach that. And I'm not going to give you a substitute for Christ like Andrew Tate, Joel Osteen, and all those other characters that are popular for the motivational speaking. Motivational speaking has its place, and I do want to motivate people to tell their story. At least tell their story to their friends and their family. You know, where you've been. Like my dad, he had regrets. He didn't really have closure when his dad died. Because for some reason, my dad was just too, he was probably overly compensating or overly enthusiastic about telling people about himself too much 
like when he was with his dad, maybe he needed to listen to what his dad had to say. His dad was through the Great Depression in the 1930s, and he survived and thrived and was able to make ends meet. Supposedly, he actually got a job doing chimney sweeps and and making money like side hustle or whatever but he somehow was able to make ends meet and make some money during the great depression like for for us this generation x which i think i'm generation x i was born in 1975 yeah i'm generation x but Generation X, Y, Z, all that business, it's just a marketing thing. It really doesn't really identify them, identify a person that accurately because the people, there's still little, like they say, little nuances because some people, some guys in my age bracket, they believe in hard work. They believe in earning their money. But there's also other guys that believe like they deserve to have entitlements. They're entitled to not working. They're entitled to having things. I, have, I can't say I ran into many of those guys. So with that said, I know I'm going off on a tangent. I'm trying to avoid the tangent. And it's important to talk about <laughs> autobiographies and telling your own story. Some of them might be, you might be connected somehow to a story that you uh, lived during that time. Like, you hope maybe you've seen the Jesus Revolution. It took place in Orange County, California, and I have a connection to it some, in, in, in like a minor way, because uh, Christianity was maybe more of a mainstream uh, uh, religion during that time. Like if you think about it now, Christianity is pretty much like a old school kind of religion. And there are some people that still uh, uh, prescribe to it. I do prescribe or subscribe. subscribe. See, again, I'm not using terminology properly, I understand. And all I, my whole point with this video blog is working out my ideas to tell my story. Because my story is one of a, a man that had huge opportunities. Fantastic opportunities to be a legend and blew it and blew it by the temptations and not resisting temptations and not having the confidence to to uh, proceed with things that may have been life changing and I've addressed it in other videos I understand that other videos that talk about the missed opportunities and some missed opportunities might have made a great life and some missed opportunities might have really made you go the other direction. You know, sometimes I get little indications of how my life would have been if I did not take this course of decisions and all that stuff, if you kind of catch my drift. Even though it was bad, a lot of things, I still managed to still like um, stay faithful to God but again I do believe that God is the one holding us together God is the one that in spite of our bad choices God is the one that makes fantastic wonderful events out of bad choices so I hope that you could maybe tell your story or leave a comment and tell me about how you as a 40 something year old man might have had a different 
course or how maybe a partner you might have chose that may have changed your life I know that I'm in the middle of a divorce and I wanted to kind of talk about a post-divorced kind of life as a guy in his late 40s that really have nothing to show for his bad decisions but that kind of vlogging apparently people don't really enjoy it because of the whole you know people want to be encouraged and motivated but I I think that it is up to your benefit why don't you get dropped down a couple notches so you can kind of get a better grip on your life get get knocked down and it's like the scripture says pride comes before the fall and yeah if you're proud and you're bragging about how your life is and you think that you're such a wonderful person and then you get knocked down a couple notches or you fall and or have a great fall if you are a redeemed man or woman after you have that fall you can rise up again kind of like that analogy the phoenix rising out of the ashes of a uh, of, of, of catastrophe and disaster it's a good symbol for like rising out and being transformed and becoming something even greater kind of like that caterpillar and the butterfly analogy there's a lot of analogies that really apply to how our life is so be encouraged if you if you if you want like my content subscribe and and thank you for listening to me work out my ideas for telling my story. Working out my ideas for how I could encourage people. And how maybe you need to be discouraged. The discouragement sometimes is what it takes for you to know what encouragement feels like. 